Right, welcome back to Fly Tying Podcast. We're going to tie a Tim's B and B. This is a pattern which is developed out of a red, uh, big red pattern which I fish on the reservoirs, and it's probably my go-to reservoir fly in terms of dries. Always fish it on a point. This has come in very, very handy this season in terms of hawthorn imitation. The polypropylene breathers at the front help keep the top of the fly up. So does the hackle, tend to grease it at the front, whilst the hook point around the bend goes into the water. So you're fishing something which is cocking in the water. As you retrieve it, very, very attractive to trout fished either dead drift because of that half in, half out presentation, or because you're giving it a bit of stimulus, like a skitting, drowning hawthorn fly across the top. Anyway, let's get on and tie one of these. We're going to use a TMC hook, um, which is a 101, size 14, 16s, even a big 12 is perfectly okay. And this uh, hook, of, as I talked to you about before, has a straight eye. And that straight eye is very, very important. It really helps in terms of hooking up because you've got a, an opened up gape, which means the hook point is more exposed. You can slightly offset it if you want, which also will help hooking up. I'm going to use a black shear thread. I'm just going to wind that down about a third away along the hook. Now I'm using polypropylene, any old polypropylene will do. Um, a white is my favourite for this, though uh, cream I find very effective and I do use the cream on big reds rather than the white. On well, the B&B I tend to use white. I'm just going to pinch that in um, and tie that down in that position. You need a, a long bit going towards the, the eye of the hook, short bit at the tail. I'm also going to tie in black cock hackle here, which we then parachute later on, and then slightly, and the, where the twist comes in, slight tilt as we pull the wing down forward over the eye and tie it off. In terms of rib, I'm using a fairly heavy gauge silver wire uh, which I'm going to catch in at the tail again. That helps signal the body hold on the seal's fur. Um, and also it places enough weight at the back of it to help it sink a bit um, and you want to get the base of the hook down. I'm using a black seal's fur, um, it's Celtic blend and it's got a little bit of red in there which I always think is a bit of a trigger to trout. Trout seem to love a little bit of red. Uh, brown trout are particularly keen on it and along with things like fluorescent orange which is an absolute killer for brown trout, real suckers for it as well as the old rainbows of course. Um, a bit of red is great. Now that's just taken it to that point there where we're going to take the rib in a reverse wrap. Doesn't matter if those, those turns can be quite nice and tight. You know, try and hold the seal fur on, gives the fly extended life. Now I'm just winding that forward that wire I'm going to just stress that so it comes off. The point of doing that is that you don't really ruin your tying scissors. You can keep an extra pair, particularly for wire. Now, I'm going to uh, wind the hackle around the base of the polypropylene like that. You can just do that and wind it up and then slip it down, which is just as appropriate. 
like so. As you get more hackle on, it comes a little bit stiffer at the base. You tend to go base with at this stage. Just use your finger to get it down. So we've got the wing in there and the hackle going around it. Now, because we're going to actually pull that hackle backwards and tie it in, I'm just going to tie over there with the front of the eye, the hackle stalk. Pull the hackle down by splitting the wing. Don't be too aggressive doing that because it does have a tendency to break every now and again and you have to undo all the fly to re rewind everything. Cut the hackle off, it's nice and secure. You can fold the hackle back and do it again. I'm going to finish off by adding a bit more seal thread at the front of the front and just underneath. Just by winding under the hackle, like so. Nice and a figure of eight. Give yourself enough room at the eye. Push everything back, up on. Might want to just put a quick whip in there. Help everything stay tight. Now the secret of this fly is when you bring everything forward like so, which tilts the hack at the back up. Just slip that round there, fold it in, bring it forward, go back underneath the eye like so, and then we're going to whip finish it. I'm going to use my whip finishing tool. Helps keep the eye clear. One, two, three, and there we have it. Just going to trim that up, hide it, and then you've got one of the most effective flies I've used this season as a Hawthorne imitation. Just remember to grease the top end of the fly. Less is more where polypropylene is concerned, it's a bit like CDC. Um, just false cast it, it'll come clean and all the water will come out of it and it will float again. Uh, it's a great fly, great deceiver of trout. Um, and I hope you can tie some up and you'll join me again at the fly fishing podcast. Tight lines.